factor into music? Like, like, tell us about you. How, how did you, like, growing up, how did you enter into music? <laughs> um, I'm not too much good with history. History? No. Okay. Yeah. So Actually, it's very good at I'll, history. I'll yeah. try and um, remember <laughs> what I can remember. Um, but as far as I can remember, um, I'm very fortunate to have come from a very musical home. Oh. Yes. Mommy, being the music director, um, all my brothers, um, we're about seven siblings, and then five boys, and then two beautiful ladies. All the boys can play at least two instruments. Are you serious? Yes. My eldest brother can play the drums, the bass, my sister sings, and then the superhuman amongst us, <laughs> William Afre. Yeah. And he's been my inspiration and everything. Everything you see me doing is because I had a good background. Wow. Yes. And then Bernard comes after. Bernard plays the keyboard. And then Lawrence comes after. Lawrence plays the drums and then the bass guitar. And then I come. Then I have the lady um, after me. So um, as far as I can remember... Major influence has been the house, the home. Because, I mean, I would hear music every now and then. Mommy singing hymns, you know, songs upon songs. And then my brothers also um, playing musical instruments. And what I can remember is, um, at some point in time, we would go... Um, if I can remember, I think the church equipment, the church drums, or I can't really remember. We would go and bring it to our house. And then we had a teacher... Um, Braco Fieser, who was teaching my brother then. And then so he would teach my brother whilst we are, I mean, back then I was a kid. So I'll be in the room and then be listening to whatever it is my, my brother is being taught. And then if not anything, you won't get the opportunity to sit behind the drums. But if not anything, you get to feel the grooves and everything. Yes. Um, and then, um, fast forward, my brother became a pro. I mean, William Afre was all over Kumasi. He actually, he's done a lot for me. I mean, he paved the way for me. And then people would also come to the house to come and learn from him. Okay, so that's how the base, that's what I can remember. <laughs> so then when, I mean, some of these students come to the house and William will be teaching them, I'll be in the room and be listening to what William is teaching them. Okay, so then my um, Lawrence, my, my, one, my big brother, after these students are gone, Lawrence will bring the acoustic guitar because we're not allowed to hold the acoustic guitar because they were afraid we were going to break it or something. <laughs> so then Lawrence would bring the guitar and then we'll go and sit in mommy's sofa and then Lawrence will start, you know, teaching me whatever it is William was trying to teach those guys. Interestingly, Lawrence can't play the bass as I'm playing now. <laughs> but then when William was out of the house, um, when he was going to escort his friends, you know, after teaching lessons, Lawrence would bring the bass. And then I remember very well, we had this acoustic guitar. It was a six-string um, nylon acoustic. Oh. And then Lawrence would teach me some grooves like... Um, I remember back then. Um, um, God, you're so good. Da, 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 da. God, you are wonderful. Then Lawrence would run... <laughs> The very original groove. And then he would teach me other grooves like. Um... <laughs> wow, that's PK's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so, um, fast forward. Um, William actually realized that I could play the guitar. Oh. I mean, and then, I mean, that guy, any good thing that you play, I mean, let's say I'm outside, I play, and people are yelling me, people are giving me thumbs up and all that. You go back to the house, William will, William will tell you, ah, we na wako kobo ya nko fo. Omo, eh, you go away. The obo ya no cry no, eh. We, your boy was so, we play this over, these changes, we play that over, whichever changes and all that. So then, he was too much ahead of me, I mean, in terms of learning. So then, at some point in time, I won't even go to him to go and learn. Because then I will end up being more confused <laughs> with the many things, I mean, he will be mentioned and all that. And so, um, he noticed I could play little by little. And then, what I can remember is our then church bass player had traveled. And then my, 
my brother told them that I could play. They were like, oh, Junior, what do you sing in Nasa Kra? Because back then we had this, I don't know if it was Fender, but this huge bass guitar. That was like about, I was about nine years. Oh. Yes. And then they were like, no, he can't carry the bass. It's too heavy for him <laughs> and all of those things. And you know, um, Chet Dickens and, no, I could always say guitar, no, strange, so i for now, but. So then they gave me the opportunity. I mean, that's St. James Baptist Church. Oh. Yes, yeah. And then I went to play, I think it was a wedding. That was when they realized, yeah, sound in a man, no, But I mean, um, it didn't surprise a lot of people because mommy was into music. I mean, my other siblings were all playing musical instruments. And so they even named us their first family. And they would call us, and they would come and do ministration at church sometimes with my brother Lawrence on drums, Bernard on keys, William on keys, mommy singing. Ophelia singing, Gifty singing. Wow. Uh, yeah, I remember we even had a uniform that we would only wear when we were going to do ministration at church. Yes. And then, I mean, through that, mommy, um, daddy, dams, you know, they won't let you joke with school. Yeah. So then, if anything, you would have to go to school and then make sure you learn, you know, you pass and all that. And so when we close from school, I would then follow William to his rehearsal because back then he was playing with bands and all that. Even though my mom was not allowing her. But then these guys would wait until William was done with school and then they would come and ask permission from mommy that we are going to spend only two hours or three hours. And then I would follow him to rehearsals. That was how come I was able to, you know, I got exposed to other genres and all that. Yes. And so, um, fast forward after JHS, even this is as far back as, as I was nine years. So then when I got to JHS, um, I wasn't very active because back then we had this solid group in our school, Children of Israel. They were superstars, like they were my age mates, but they had hit tracks and all that, and they were family. Yes, super talented. So when I was in Cambridge International, um, I never even got hold of the bass guitar, even though I could play. Because they were, they were a team, and they sounded very good. They had songs out there. People loved their songs and all that. And so it was until, I think, final year. And then back then, um, Daughters had released a song. With that kind of group. So when they were rehearsing, and then I think their bass player was not around. I'm not too sure about that. And then I went to pick up the bass, and then I played something. That was when one of them noticed, hey, so you'll be bad boy like that, you can play. And then <laughs> all these, well, you've been in the school, you know, quiet. You didn't want anybody to know. And then fast forward to senior high school. Um, that was, that, that, I should say that was where I actually decided to take it a bit more serious. Because back then, when I got to um, Kumasi Anglican Secondary School, I met some great musicians. I mean, my seniors, those who were ahead of me, those who were on the same level, as me, they could play real good. The likes of Augustine, and then that is where I met um, Frederick Achi. Achi, well. And back, Achi had been, he was already playing with big bands before he even came to school. Wow. Yes. And so this <laughs> little guy would, you know, play horns, combine with everything and all that. And so me, I wasn't interested in this group, group, group stuff until um, Senior James Dapa. Um, he was in final year then. He approached me and was like, we felt that you are fresh brother. Eh? And you've not been showing up for rehearsal. I'm like, oh, senior me, I don't want to my one corner. And they say, you for can rehearsal. If you don't come out, you go do trouble inside. You go go scrub and tense. So then, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know senior high school, what happens there? So I had no other option than to be at rehearsal. And I went to meet this guy. We had this left bass player, dangerous guy, with other serious guys as well. Hmm. So that's why I met these guys, and these guys were already pros. So then I didn't have an option then to step up, step up my game, to be able to, you know, um, be gigging with them and all that. So we had a very good time in senior high school, um, playing gigs. As some, we would travel everywhere. I remember one of the senior high schools um, headmaster died. I think Kumasi High School, and we, being students at Kumasi Anglican Secondary School, we were the one who were, you know, contracted to come and play the gig. I mean, as, as young as we were. So what we would do is we would go and 
find um, mm -hmm. an experienced singer who, was, who wasn't part of our school, like an experienced singer, and then he will come and join us. He'll come and be our lead vocalist, and then we will learn all the songs. A Jankamba, um, 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 Sasa Chroma, all of these are like songs <laughs> and all that. And then even though mommy and knew we were in school, but <laughs> we would still, you know, um, go out there and then, but then we were not running away from school. We would seek Eziat and all that because our headmaster knew, you know, we could play and all that. And so, and then after, afterwards, I got to the university and then that was where I met Bludo, um, <laughs> all of these guys, like dangerous guys. I met senior Jesse Jokoto, Javis, all of these guys. And then during tech, I mean, tech days, William was then a TA, as in my big brother. And then he introduced me to Konimo, the legendary Konimo. No. Konimo. So I would say my high life um, background and all of the high life stuff that I'm able to do, or don't song, kwao, sechi, all of those things, that was where it started. And at, at the same time, my brother was also um, a TA um, um, in distance learning. And so, when we go to Konimo and then Konimo will run through us with all of the music styles in Genesis. When we come back to campus, we had a place that we used to call Jazz Central. We would gather there and then set up on our own. And then we had dangerous vocalist, Sandra, Sandra, Sandra who plays with Victor Day. Yeah. At Class 223, she was our vocalist. Eli, um, Quantuma, um, other more vocalist. And so, after, I mean, getting all of these background, like high life background, my brother will now take me through jazz lessons. <laughs> yeah, so by the time the week has ended, I would have probably gone through almost a, a little bit of every genre. That was why I, I was saying I owe everything to William, my senior brother. So he will run me through all of these things. And I, and I got a chance to meet a whole lot of people. I mean, on tech campus, Checheku, who is, I mean, touring everywhere, um, George Spratt's. I mean, and then a few other more guys. Wow. Understand? So then, um, and then after school, um, we are still doing music. We love it. Um, it's my passion. Um, I enjoy doing it. So I should say um, a little bit of background. Yeah, but there's, about a, there's a good question over here yeah. um, from Isaac Chung. It says that um, how has uh, education affected uh, your, man your mindset on doing music professionally? How has education affected your mindset, mindset um, on doing music yeah, professionally? Yeah, it has really helped me. Because, you know, um, if not for education, I wouldn't have gotten the chance to meet all of these greats that I made mention of. Yeah, so then it, 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 it made me... I got a chance to, you know, meet people through education. And so um, I was still entreated, and I would advise every young guy out there to, if not anything, acquire a university degree. Trust me, because um, I am um, no disrespect to anyone. Um, I mean, school will be school, you understand. <laughs> and I'm just trying to find the right words to, you know, go about this. When you see people who are educated and they are, they can still, they are, you know, still a master of their craft. I mean, you, 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 you get a difference between, yeah. yes, those, um, I don't want to use any names, but those on the other side, you understand? Um, so education is good, and so I would entreat everybody to school. That doesn't also mean that if, 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 if you're not able to school, it could be that, you know, financial issues and all that. You still can't be super talented. You still can't do music. You can be all that you want to be, you understand? But if you are a bit more educated, trust me, it will help you. Wow. Yes. Wow. Great, 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 great. And I've been told um, um, one of his reading is, um, is it? Um, um, Barry Ma is doing his doctorate, yeah. Yes. yes. And he's at the corner choking cool. Like that with the very guitar. soon, very <laughs> soon, he will become our TA. He will start teaching myself, like Jayao, and then Kendrick, <laughs> Achi, and all that. I mean, that's how we are. You know, no matter his age, he's, I mean, most of us are older than him. But then if you know something that the rest of us don't know, that's something with my team. We would come to you. Actually, what is it you did the other day? Charlie, before they show me that, you know. Then actually will show me. George doesn't mind teasing the eldest person amongst us. <laughs> Going to every now and then, <laughs> you understand? Just to create a humor and all that. So then, yes. 
But there's one aspect of you that I admire a lot. How do you like see um, broad talent and make them grow with you? I've seen most of the guys that you play with. I've seen them for so many years. They've been with you, and you're trying to move with them, and now they are doing so well. And how do you how do you like like um, um, um,